<laughs> well, we're here at Live at 3D Experience World. I'm here with Dorothy from Shoals Technologies Group. How's it going, Dorothy? It's going great. I, man, I, I'm so excited to be here. You guys have a, a beautiful facility, a beautiful shop. It's interesting. I've watched a lot of, you know, materials that you guys have on YouTube just to, you know, learn a, a little bit more about what you guys do. And so you guys are in this, this special area. You guys specialize in, and I hope I get this right, you guys call it EBOS, right? Electrical Balance of Systems. Yep. What, what, does that, what does that entail? What's that all about? Well, basically, we supply all the components from the back of the glass to the inverter. Okay. So we do combiner boxes, wire harnesses, um, wire clips, anything that you need to, to complete your system. And you guys get into several different areas, right? So, you know, I'm just thinking like, which types of industries do you specialize in? I know you guys are in the solar, into the charging of, of vehicles, right? Yeah. A lot of different areas. Yeah, so we definitely do PV, a lot mm -hmm. of uh, solar fields and things like that. That's our bread and butter. We're just now starting to get into um, electric vehicle charging and, and balance of systems for that that type of stuff as well. Yeah, and you guys do some interesting stuff there, right? Like I noticed like you guys specialize in like above ground installation of, of the systems. And um, yeah, it's, it's really interesting just to, to learn about you guys. And it, it's, a, it's a hugely exploding field, right? Oh yes, yeah. Uh, what we're trying to do is take out cost in the typical installation, mm -hmm. trying to stay above ground so you don't have to do any trenching, things like that on the on the EV side, mm -hmm. things that you, you know, you can't really do on PV. Yeah, so cost time, right? I imagine yeah. it's easier, quicker to install. Yeah, and it's really a one for one, right? We, we're we using the same components in the EV side that we're using in the PV side. That's cool. Yeah, that's that's awesome. And you you and I have something in common. We're both SolidWorks <laughs> aficionados. Maybe you are. I, I like to fancy myself one. Uh, there's a lot of SolidWorks I don't know yet, and I've been <laughs> doing it a long time. <laughs> well, we, I, I always like to say like SolidWorks is a million easy things. Like yeah. that, that's my that's my cleanest way of explaining what SolidWorks is, right? It's like no one knows a million things, but you can learn something very, very quickly and easily. Oh yes, absolutely. Um, so so how how do you so so first of all, what, what's your role here, and, and how do you how do you use SolidWorks on a day to day basis? So I am a lead design engineer here at Shoals, and I take care of designing plastic molds. I do some of the uh, sheet metal stuff for the EV side. Okay. Um, so I'm usually doing a bunch of different things. I don't use it for one particular uh, application. Mm -hmm. And so. you guys, so I know you use SolidWorks. Um, we were talking about that a little bit off camera, um, but also uh, you use SolidWorks PDM, right? Yes, we have SolidWorks PDM. We also use uh, some other softwares for in different departments of our, of our company too. Uh, PDM is great, especially now that we're growing so much. We have a lot of people using the, the parts that are in this in the vault and things like that so we're able to keep a good track at, at one point i was the only person here at shoals so so it was easy to take care of things and and whatnot but now we have several more engineers that wow <laughs> so so you must know a lot about your products like the ins and outs and why things are the way they are yeah and all that kind of yeah, stuff yeah i've been here 14 years wow that's awesome so, congratulations thank you um yeah, and, and so much has changed in, in this field over that time, right? Oh, yes, yes. So what's kept you, what's really kept you going and kept you, kept you proud to, to be here over, over 14 years? Well, I 100% enjoy the fact that we're trying to do something good for the environment. Mm. You know, I mean, it, we, gotta, we gotta do something. <laughs> so, yeah. um, and I love this, the innovation. Every, every day is something different. We're trying a different way to do maybe the same product, but how do we do it more efficiently? How do we carry over the things we've learned from PV into other industries? Uh, and I just, I, you know, I like the fast pace changing of what we do. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. A lot of companies like, you know, we're, we're definitely one of them at that so system, you know, sustainability is sort of core to, to what we do. And thinking about what you guys do, right? You you are very much in in the energy field, and and solar is 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 huge, right? So it must feel good, I'd imagine, you know, not just having a company that sort of you know says sustainability is part of our focus or or part of what we do, but very much is living that through, like through what you do day to day. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've worked at other places where I've worked on things for months and months, and I never 
never see what happens to them or, or yeah. anything. You know, and it's it's great to be able to go to a field and say, hey, I, I worked on that or or helped somebody else design that, and, you know, and we can actually see what we're what we're doing. That's super cool. So 14 years. I know Shoals, mm -hmm. Shoals went public back in, in 2021. Yep. Right. I'd imagine a lot's changed. Like what have been some of the biggest, some of the best changes that you've seen at Shoals over the past 14 years? It can be design engineering based. It could just be corporate company culture base like what have been some of the biggest changes you've seen uh the the biggest changes it, it it's becoming a learning curve to be a public company now there's mm. a lot of things that we didn't really have to do because nobody was paying attention mm -hmm. you know but now they are and so that's been a little bit of a of a not so much a struggle but just learning curve uh, like learning said, curve yeah. yeah i mean you have to um figure those things out but you know the the biggest thing I enjoy about my job is just having the freedom to come up with crazy stuff. I mean, yeah, it may not work right away, but we can fine tune it, and and it ends up either working out or we scrap it. <laughs> you yeah, know I mean, that's 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 cool that you guys have that freedom. Even like you said, you're, you're, and it's nice that you guys are retaining that culture. Yeah, you know, a lot of people think like oh, once you go, you become a public company, you get bigger, it gets to be extremely hard to do that impossible right but you're keeping that spirit of innovation and you have to right like you, you, you guys are in solar that's well that's you so do cool. and because if you're not innovating it the other person down the road is innovating it and they're going to pass you up yes and so you have to keep one step ahead of them yes so with with you guys having a larger design team now you know it's talking about innovation what what are what are some of the what are some of the areas where that's been tough as you've scaled and what are some of the areas where you feel like you're just getting so much stronger than, let's say, back when it was just it was just you, right? Just just one person. Oh, wow. You know, part of it is trying to teach all the new guy, the new people, the way that that we do things for one. Mm -hmm. And of course, being the only one that has done it, I tend to become a little bit of a mother hen and want to, you know, direct my chickens to the right place because they can get a little little out of hand you it know it must but. be interesting like because that I'm, that happens i always look for these areas where you know especially as we head into a conference we have all these industries coming together where there are these sorts of transferable or just universal i don't know i don't know i'm gonna say lessons but just areas where you just sort of run into these things at companies and i imagine this is one where as you scale a team right you sort of run into these areas where you're trying to teach people especially if you you're the one who's been there since day one you're saying, okay, this is why things are the way they are. This is why we did things this way. And I'm sure sometimes you get pushed back. Oh, and it's yeah. like it's like navigating. It's so interesting to me, like navigating the areas where you push back against the pushback. And you're like, well, it's this way for a reason. We need to do it this way. And yeah. the areas where you're like, oh, okay. I'm really glad I have a larger team now because I have different perspectives. Definitely. Like, how they do you bring, navigate that? That's so hard. Yeah, they'll bring their own ideas that we may not have thought of. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times they'll give an idea and we'll be like, yeah, that was five years ago. Didn't work. Mm -hmm. You know, so so it is nice to bounce all the new things and the old things off off of people. Because even if we've they ask about something we've already done, they may come come at it in a different direction mm -hmm. and it will end up working. Mm. You know, you stay in one place for too long and you can have some blinders. And so you don't see the forest or the trees most of the time. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And, and this conference, is, it's, a, it's a great place to sort of widen the, the, the aperture, yep. widen yep. the perspective. Right. Um, that's one of my favorite parts about, especially with it being an in-person conference, because you're able to be around industry peers, but also be around people that may not work in the same industry, but may have similar SOLIDWORKS challenges or, or problems or just ways of doing things. So 3D Experience World's coming up. It's a great chance to get to know, you know, different industry peers, but also those design engineers who work in different industries. And I'd imagine, you know, with the different technical sessions, uh, the hands-on sessions where you get to try different products, but the machine's already there, like networking opportunities, there's just a lot to be excited about. But for you, Dorothy, what, what are you most excited about for 3D Experience World? Uh actually looking to see how other people are doing using some of the, the commands and so like I tell all the new guys that come in you can give the same design to 10 people and you will get 10 different results Very true. <laughs> it doesn't matter yeah I mean and how you get there is is irrelevant as long as you as long as you get there 
It's interesting. We were yesterday, uh, we were at the Tennessee College of Applied Technology, and I was talking to some of the students there. It was so cool because they could just go right up to their workstations and interrupt them. And they're like, oh, you work at SolidWorks. I want to talk to you. Yeah. And um, they were saying the same exact thing. You know, they were like, I, I just can't wait to go learn new tips. Like everyone in, in some ways is trying to like get the same sort of things out of the conference, learn new ways of doing things. Like even stuff like it could be really wide as far as like methodologies and like grand scope kind of stuff about how do I model this? How do I manage my products? Yeah. Or like, you know, you press press the S key <laughs> twice and it goes to the command search, like, like that kind of stuff. That, that's a thing? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the tips and tricks, you know, everybody has their own, everybody's learned some that other people, I, I don't even know a third of the quick keys and things like that, you know? I, I, I mean, yeah. And you, you I, I probably learn something new every day on yeah. SolidWorks. <laughs> I, I had an instructor once that told me that, you know, we used to say that this instructor has forgotten more things about SolidWorks than I'll ever know. Yeah. And I, I feel like at this point, it's like I've forgotten more than I might know in the future. Like there's just, there's so much to, to learn. Um, but yeah, whether it's catching up on things you used to know and you're kind of regretting yourself or it's, it's net new stuff. Yeah. Um, it, it'll, it'll be a cool conference. Um, so Dorothy, one thing that is really interesting about 3D Experience World is that you bring together like an entire ecosystem of people, you know, virtually, in person, different countries. One thing I've been asking every single <laughs> user that, that I, I've seen out here in Nashville or just in the broader Tennessee area is, you know, how did you get to where you are in career? What's that, your, in your career, what's that, what's that journey been like? Oh, it's been long. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I started out out of college doing some mechanical work and, you know, just kept on different softwares and just kept trying to learn new, new softwares every time I went to a different place. And, you know, eventually I was in Minnesota and California and just kind of came so Minnesota, here. California. Well, California, Minnesota, Tennessee. Wow. <laughs> So, so was it always, and this is, this is a question I think people will be interested in as well, is like, was it always, was it like, I want to go to this part of the country and then you wanted to find, find work there? Or was it, was it an opportunity in each case that, that drove you to a different part of the country? Um, a little bit of both. Okay. Um, I had some family in Minnesota that kind of drug me there. And, mm. and then I started, you know, looking around to maybe change and came, found something in Tennessee and moved and then my entire family moved and so <laughs> everyone else is here now and you know but i just i kind of just let my career figure itself out i mean i, I you know i didn't push anything one direction or another just everything really just kind of fell into place and and worked out i've been in tennessee about 25 years and i've only worked at two places so <laughs> that's awesome yeah so, and, and this place 14 years yeah so you must be must be pretty happy that, that's yeah, great yeah um, well, Dorothy, this has been a pleasure. Thank you so much. You, you guys Absolutely. have been so nice just like letting us into to your space, um, letting us into your state, you know, <laughs> you know, meeting us with that, that Southern hospitality that we've heard so much about. Uh, and yeah, I can't wait to see you at 3D Experience World. Absolutely.